Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be customizing the new benefactor Vorschlang hammer in GTA Online. <laughs> So yes, we have finally got ourselves an AMG hammer in GT Online. Um, there are elements and customization options from the 190e Mercedes as well. And I have to say, this thing looks incredibly similar to the real life vehicle it's based on. And for those who don't know, it is based on a Mercedes AMG hammer slash Mercedes 190e. Uh, so it's nice to finally have a vehicle like this in GTA Online. We have a competitor for the E30 BMW, which we already have in the game. Uh, now this is the last drip feed vehicle from the bottom dollar bounties update that we're going to be customising. We've been customising all the new DLC vehicles over the past few weeks. So if you've missed any of those videos, they're all available on the channel. There's a playlist um, which has all the vehicle customization in um, so you can go and check that out if you wish. But let's take this thing up to the customization shop and see what we can do with it. All right, here we are in the custom shop. And the first customization option we have is arch covers. Uh, we can add a bolt-on arch covers. We can go for bolt-on painted arch covers. And then we can actually go for a wide body kit. So we can actually make this thing into like a... 190e look if we want to and i'm actually going to go for that look today uh with this you can get the 190e spoiler so we're going to go for the wide body kit i think that looks pretty cool uh, we'll go for full armor and full brakes and we have bumper options so we do have a plate on the front as standard we can go for euro plates the sort of long thin plates like we have over here in Europe and some other parts of the world as well. Uh, we can go for fog light delete with the euro plates. We can go for the plate delete and fog light delete as well. We've got the street bumper and the race day bumper. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the plate delete with fog light delete. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, rear bumper options. We can go for a race diffuser. We've got the track diffuser, the stripped track diffuser, which just removes the rear bumper. We've got the street diffuser, the stripped street diffuser, and the stripped large diffuser. Uh, I'm going to leave it stock because all of these options are a bit too racy for my kind of liking. Uh, engine options, we've got level 4, no visual things. Well, that's kind of to be expected at this point. Uh, exhaust options next. So we do have the sort of generic um, sort of exhaust on the left-hand side there. Um, similar, similar to the real-life vehicle. We can go for the tuner exhaust. We've got the chrome version of that. Then we've got a performance exhaust. We've got a chrome version of that. We've got the big ball exhaust, a chrome version of that. We got blast pipes, so I like the victory pipes. We can go for the Shakatan exhaust, which I wasn't expecting on this car. And we have the gold big bar, a gold exhaust. Um, I think we're just going to go for the chrome tuner exhaust. That looks pretty good to me. Um, grill options next so we have a sort of classic grill looks very similar to the real life vehicle and it is chrome at the moment we can go for the stealth grill which blacks it all out we can go for the painted grill and then we have the gold grill and trim i feel like that's going to be a recurring theme on this car the gold uh, i'm going to go for the painted grill i think that looks pretty good Headlight covers next. We can go for red headlights, green, blue, yellow, iridescent. Then we have black headlight tape. We can go for painted headlight tape, so that will match the primary color, which at the minute is also black. We can go for gold headlight tape. I knew that would come. 
Uh, we've got the plastic sleeper covers. We got chrome version of those. We got the primary color ones. We've got gold ones, and then we got the front intake, which removes the sort of secondary lights and turns those into intakes. And then we've got a track version of that as well which I'm not a fan of any of those, so we're just going to leave them stock. Uh, I really don't like tinted headlights, I just think they look horrible. Um, next we have hood options, and you can't see it very well, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and change this to a, like a light grey or something. Something like that will do, just so you guys can see it a little bit better. Uh, so we've got the stock hood, we can go for the Benefactor hood ornament, the sort of like Mercedes style with the little emblem sticking up at the front above the grill there. Uh, we've got a gold version of that. Then we can go for the twin intakes. We've got quad intakes. We've got a race hood. A track hood. And then we've got the V8 twin turbo upgrade with the turbo sticking out of the bonnet there. Um, very cool if you're building a race car. I'm not building a race car, so uh, I think we'll just go for the Benefactor ornament. Uh, that looks kind of cool. Good. Uh, horn and light options are sort of standard. Uh, we will check out the headlights, taillights, brake lights, and reverse lights when we go outside and drive this thing around, and we'll check out the interior as well. Livery options next. We have the double black stripe. We've got the black benefactor stripes. Okay, that actually looks quite good. We've got a white version of that. Then we got the white benefactor racing. We got a black version of that as well. We've got the black flame racing. We've got racing geometry. And we've got the black bottom stripes. Uh, some very good options actually, and no doubt some of these are inspired by real life Mercedes Hammer liveries, uh, racing liveries. Uh, these ones definitely are, um, and some of these probably as well. I'm just going to leave it stock, but there are some good options in there. Louvers next, we've got the rear strip, so it's like a rear sun strip, which I've never seen before. That's pretty cool. We can go for a roof wing, and then we actually have window louvers as well. Those of you who've been around the channel for a while will know my opinion on louvers. I think they only go look good on DeLoreans and Lotuses. So I'm going to leave it standard, although the rear sunstrip option is pretty cool. Uh, plate options. It has a plate at the rear, and did have a plate at the front, but we have removed that. Uh, respray we will come back to um, I do have a color in mind now the AMG hammers I believe only came in a few different options from the factory I think you could only get them in black white and blue possibly red as well but correct me if I if I'm wrong on that um, skirt options next we have the stock skirt we can go for a smooth arc skirt we got the race skirt, the track skirt, and the carbon track skirt. Uh, I'm going to leave the stock skirt. It is sort of molded into the wide body kit, which is very nice. The splitter options next. We can go for a chrome splitter. We got a painted splitter, which I imagine will be the same as the secondary color by the looks of it. We've got the gold splitter, and we've got a track splitter with the sort of many strut mounts going on. It has some little wings up the side as well. Um, I'm just gonna leave it standard. We're leaving this thing pretty standard, but I don't want to build it into a race car. But it is nice that some of these options, you can make it really, really radical. Now we get onto the wing options. So we can go for the extreme aero wing. It's just a shrunken spoiler. I have no idea why Rockstar have added that, but okay. Uh, we can go for the factory spoiler, which just adds sort of like a molded spoiler into the rear bumper. 
We've got the ducktail spoiler, which is quite nice. We've got a bolted on ducktail, if you want to build it into like a NASCAR kind of look. We've got the drift wing, which is just a bigger version of this one. So if you want a big version of that, we've got that. We've got the performance wing, the GT wing. We've got the RS sort of 190E style wing. We've got the track one. We've got loop battle wing. And we've got the circuit master, which is just the loop battle wing with the ducktail. It's like a dual spoiler setup. Uh, I'm going to go for the RS wing. And we're going to turn this into a 190E. That looks pretty good. Sunstrip options next. We've got the primary coloured sunstrip. And we've got vanity sunstrip. Okay. Not seen that before. Um, so it's like a lower sunstrip there. Uh, I'm not going to go for either of those. Not really a fan. But there you go. Uh, suspension options. You can get quite a big drop out of this thing. I'm just going to go to street suspension, just to remove a bit of arch gap, or maybe we'll go for sport. I just don't want too much camber. Uh, no, we'll leave it at that. Uh, we'll go for race transmission and turbo tuning. Now, these wheels, I believe, are custom to this car, and they are very similar, or almost the same as the real life vehicle so if you want to build the vehicle kind of accurate then uh, I guess you could leave these wheels and it is quite nice that they're like chrome with the black um, I don't believe there are many wheels similar to this there are some in the sport category which are kind of similar like these ones the chrono I guess they're kind of similar um, you'll just have to have a little look yourselves if you do want to match them um, but I'm going to go for something like these and we'll go ahead and paint those black that looks pretty good and then we're going to tint the windows just one notch of light smoke uh, we'll go ahead and put bulletproof tyres on as well and then I'm going to paint this thing uh, white I've decided will look pretty good for this um, do we want to go for like a bright white or like a frost white I think a frost white will look pretty good and we'll match that on the secondary and there we go that is our law friendly Mercedes 190e fully customized I've actually forgotten the name of it in uh, GT Online, I think it's the the Vorgenschlanger Hammer, something like that. Vorgenschlanger Hammer. You guys will correct me in the comment section, I'm sure. Uh, but let's take this thing out onto the street, see what kind of performance it has, and we'll open up the doors, have a little look at lights, all the usual stuff. Here we are outside in our Vorgenschlang Hammer. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but that's how I'm going to say it. And uh, first impressions of this thing, it has a lot of torque. This thing loves to spin its tyres, and it is rear-wheel drive, for those wondering. Uh, it's in the sedans class as well, so I'm not sure how it compares some of the other sedans in the class, whether this is the new fastest sedan. It might be. It is very, very fast, I have to admit. Um, and it drifts pretty well, which is nice, I guess, if you're into drifting. If you're not into drifting, you probably find it a bit annoying. Uh, but it looks absolutely fabulous. All right, so here we are with the doors open. Let's have a little look under the hood first. And um, as we've come to expect with a lot of vehicles in this update, it is quite low textured. Not as bad as some of them we've seen. The engine cover is quite highly detailed. Um, and the battery doesn't look terrible on this car. Uh, the rest of the engine block down there looks hideous, but the radiator is pretty well textured. Or I should say that's the intercooler, I guess. The radiator is behind that. Um, the headlights and stuff look pretty nice as well. Look pretty detailed. 
There might be a little bit of damage on the car at the moment. Uh, the interior, uh, we've got this sort of lovely fake wood veneer style, which I'm not sure whether the real vehicle has that or not. I'm guessing it probably does. Um, but it looks like quite a nice interior, to be honest. It is a manual, as we'd expect. And it is a four-door vehicle, so if you're planning to do some heists in this thing, then you can take your buddies with you. Uh, the back seat is quite low textured, uh, but again, we've got more of that sort of wooden finish, which is quite cool. Uh, the trunk is very square, um, but it can hold quite a bit, I guess. Uh, not that the trunk is really useful in GTA Online. So let's check out the lights next. So the tail lights are just that little strip at the back there. And the headlights, you can see there, they are quite blue as standard. Those are the dipped headlights, and those are the main beam. So those extra little headlights do actually work, which is quite nice. Um, the reverse light is just the next strip down, and the brake lights are just at the bottom there. So what do I think of the new Benefactor Vorgenschlang Hammer? Um... I really like it actually. I kind of like how this thing drives, although it is very slidey. Uh, that is something just to be mindful of. If you're not a fan of cars that oversteer, uh, like some of the muscle cars in the game, then maybe steer clear of this thing. But I like the look of it. I like the real life car that it's based on. I like that you've got the option of turning it into a 190E if you want to. It sounds pretty good actually. Um, it's got some decent customization. And it's pretty reasonably priced as well. It's only 1.6 million, which sounds like quite a lot, but in today's GTA economy, it's not terrible, to be honest. That is the average price of a new DLC vehicle. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Are you going to be buying this car? Are you not a fan of it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you like the customization? Do you like my customization? Uh, but let me know down there in the comment section. I think this was a welcome addition to the game. A lot of people are a fan of the AMG Hammer and the 190E, so I think a lot of people will appreciate this being added to the game. Uh, but that is going to do it for today's video and for the Bottom Dollar Bounties DLC customization. Uh, we're going to be customizing some of the older DLC vehicles in the next few weeks and months, so make sure you stick around the channel for that. But thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!